Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my mobile app, Android, iPhone, iPad devices. We're gonna give this guy some help with his swing. Interesting one. Um, a little bit related to obviously his swing, but also related to how you might look at yourself on kind of video cameras and software and iPhones and things that you might use to video your own swing. Let's check this one out. Let's get stuck in. So interesting movement, um, not a bad movement. And if you were to look at this movement on a video camera like we're doing, sent through the app, I mean, I'm used to looking at swings on video cameras, but also measuring with GC2 HMT down on, here on the floor, which gives a kind of three dimensional look of what club path is actually doing and face the path and those kind of things. And what you would see from this swing is if you were to draw your lines, which we're drawing, the swing would look what people would call on plane or I had that I struggle with that term um, and that it would look you know like it's going up and down some decent lines on your line drawing systems and those kind of things but when I look at this swing and obviously without measuring I can't confirm this 100% but I'm pretty sure I can see what I'm seeing um, from my experience of using these machines for so long and with in conjunction with video is that the path of this guy's club as he hits the ball is traveling left it looks slightly down as well but it's definitely traveling left let me show you something and we've done this video a lot i'm just trying to recreate it for you to keep you guys kind of thinking about this concept if i was to hit the ball when this is the camera looking at this hoop if i was to hit the ball here so i've got a bit of tape let's pretend that's impact and a pencil which is direction that the club is traveling on as it strikes the ball now if i was to hit the ball at this point my hoop is pointing kind of at my target and so is my pencil so from you, the hoop isn't going to look like it's pointing to the right, pointing to the left. It's going to look almost like it's pointing down a line. So similar to these lines that we're drawing on the 2D screen. Now if I simply just move the hoop here, so slightly behind the ball, say two inches, my pencil is now travelling considerably left. It's travelling up and left. And this is what I see with this guy. His hoop doesn't particularly look like it's spinning this way or this way. It looks to me... I mean, he obviously does look like he's hitting down a little bit as well, but I can't actually really see that. But he looks like he's definitely passing left. If we just deal with that for the hoops idea, just by the way he's hitting the ball and turning on the way through and catching that ball slightly late, his path is traveling left as he hits that, which then makes him use his hands, his wrist in a very different way, which he will preset from coming into the ball. He won't be doing it down at the bottom per se. He'll be kind of getting that ready as he comes in to account for this left to right kind of hit so what i'm saying is if uh, and i've done this like a, quite a lot recently if he hits a shot and simply moves this way and rotates i'm going to get to my zero point say on the hoop around here just before the ball and then i'm hitting after that zero point so that club is returning to the left which is that what people will call out to path but it's not an out to path on a video camera that looks like this on a camera it looks pretty pretty straight um, so what I would like you to try and do to improve that and like I said I've done this quite a bit on in other instructional videos is I want you to think about trying to go this way to hit the ball so much more to the left so moving across to try and move that hoop forward to try and move it up to the ball and even ahead of it that will simply so again with the hoop here if I get the pencil and I just move the hoop slightly forward of the uh, ball so it's say two inches forward we'll keep the hoop pointing at the target what happens now is i'm actually now starting to get that pencil to move a little bit to the right just a fraction or even straighter subject to the up and down this so by moving that hoop forwards and backwards you can actually change your club path by two five six seven eight degrees very easily and i want you to feel like you're moving that hoop forward so again the tip which is applied to many golfers at the minute and i use it in lessons it works really well normal backswing like you're doing downswing you've got to feel much more bumped to the left much more sliding onto the left side hitting the ball with rotation which to you will feel like it's afterwards just by bringing your arms down into impact your body will have to rotate naturally you won't need to put much more in where for me it looks very much like you want to just turn around say your right leg left hip almost wants to go back make sure plane as people call it looks quite neutral your path looks okay your swing direction looks quite good but the path is traveling left as you strike that ball because of that late hit get those hips across feel like as you make your downswing like you're really moving up 
to that ball and forward. So really starting to move this way, hit the ball rather than so much rotation. I think you'll find it'll change your path quite dramatically. Focus in the swing. Hope that helps, hope that makes sense. A bit different, obviously, with the hoop and what have you, and also that little integration into how you might see things on a camera. I think the interesting thing with that on a camera is that it's going to look like the path isn't out to in until you look very closely down at impact and you can see it's shoving less. Not that you're coming over the top, as people call it, you're just catching it slightly late on that hoop. Thanks for watching, guys. Post comments, love to hear, and we'll speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.